So to go on, uh, this isn't World War, but this is uh, another war. It's something we've all heard about. Have you guys ever seen the old movie Hostel? Yeah, yeah. You've I seen it? Seen yeah. It. You've never seen hey, it? You know, I know the origin of how that movie came about and everything. Tell us about it. So re just real quick, you know, there was actually a real website. And like in Thailand, you could go and you could kill somebody on your vacation. It was an actual thing. You could pay like 10 grand or some, something. Really? Yeah, you could go into this room and you could shoot somebody in the head and shit. That's where the movie came from. Are you? I had never heard that. Yeah, there was I... a real website you could visit. Where, and basically, it was people that uh, were so poor that the money was going to go to their family. So they were, they were going to die anyways, they said. So they just killed them in a room. So you had... You say so you could know what it was like to kill somebody, basically. That's that's disgusting. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's pretty terrible. That that gives me the creeps, you know. So you guys have seen? Well, you guys know what Austin was about. If you don't know, basically it's similar to what he said, only a lot more sick. Yeah. They would come and pay, and there'd be these young Americans and all these people, and they poking their eyes out, just crazy stuff. Well, for for that one and then there was another one called Teristas. I don't know if you've seen that, but Teristas was kind of like Hostel, but what it was, these young college students went down to I think Brazil or one of those places and these doctors were chopping them up and selling their body parts. Of yeah. course Brazil, right? Right, yeah, Brazil right. Crazy place. So now the FBI raids an alleged chop shop of body parts. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Okay, this I believe was out in Arizona and it was outrageous. Like some of the stuff that I read, when the FBI came in, they seen, you know, stuff just in bins, like arms and freaking bins. They had heads laying around. They said they found a, a little body with a big head sewed on it. Just weird it's shit. Doing experiments is what it the, like. Yeah, they were on some other shit. For me, I always thought when they talked about uh, like Hostel and Teristas that there's no way that could be real. But then based on what you're telling me, in some levels it could. Now as far as stealing body parts, you guys, have you guys heard about organ donors, how that process goes? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's complicated. Yeah, it's, it's a long way for a lot of people too. Well, think about this. So let's just say hypothetically somebody kills me right now, takes my hearts, organs, lungs, for one, it's gotta be perfectly kept after they take it. Then they gotta find a perfect donor for it, and that takes a lot of work. I'm sure there probably is a market for stuff like that, but I don't know where you could... I, then again, you think about some of the cartel vids we've talked about. They do say there's some sort of a black market with organs floating around and stuff. So I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, I would, not, I would not doubt it. Not to be dark, Okay, and not, and for goodness sake, not to give nobody no ideas. But you think about the cartel and how money hungry they are. You see them cutting people up, stabbing, doing all this crazy. Video, and then they'll post it. Online. Right. Why? I'm surprised that they haven't gotten the idea of going ahead and just taking their organs and taking them and selling them too. Because, you know, you hear like a heart lungs out or whatever could sell for a lot of money. Well, you hear yeah. these doctors out here doing these like BBLs and stuff. Like, just doing all kinds of illegal shit. That's right here in America. So, you know, you couldn't, couldn't go to another country and not expect to have your, your, your organs stolen. Well, you guys think about this. You think about this, the underground crap that goes on in America. Like you said, with BBLs, uh, underground abortions. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. There's, there's stuff, like back in the day when abortion was illegal, girls were going to these back alley doctors and ended up dead. So there's a lot of bad medical stuff that goes on just in this country. So you gotta imagine in like Mexico, South America, it can get a lot worse, but I'll tell you this, this is why I tell people, I'm not going to certain countries, I don't give a damn. Look, I think I told y'all this before. The other org that I run about, Four years ago, I was offered some pretty big money to go 
to Brazil, to one of the favelas in Brazil, and open up a branch. I'm no fool, all right? Life, in some of these places, life is cheap. Like, here in America, if they find your body right now out on the street, a whole big investigation is going to happen. They're going to track you down. There's going to be people snitching. You do that same scenario in certain areas of Brazil or Mexico, they're going to be like, shh. Your body might be there a couple days. Yeah. 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 Speaking of which, this is kind of off subject. I told you this story back up in Pittsburgh. Uh, when we moved there the second time when I was 12, there was a dude who got, got smoked, got unalived, and it was in between two houses. This was in a bad gang neighborhood called Homewood. His body laid there for seven days. Now I'm telling y'all, it was right out in the open. Like there was between two houses, but like the streets right there, everybody knew it was there. Nobody said nothing. You know how I got found? Two white folks accidentally took a wrong turn and were driving through the neighborhood and seen it. It was like, what the? And called 911. It's the only reason it probably would still be there if it wasn't for that. Wow. Now that's in America. So you can imagine some of these other countries.